In this video, we are going to present the kernel trick for machine learning. Many paradigms in machine learning are based on linearity. This is the case for linear regression, logistic regression, neurons in artificial neural networks, and support vector machines. The trouble is that data are not always linearly separable. And in fact, linearity may not be the underlying structure of your data. Here's a very basic one-dimensional example. Suppose we had blue points on the left and on the right, but red points in the middle. It is not possible to linearly separate red points from blue points in this example. Here's another example which is two-dimensional, which is the classic example of the exclusive OR gate. Most of basic machine learning algorithms cannot learn from such data points. Unless and let's use some clever preprocessing of the data. The kernel trick is this clever preprocessing of the data. The basic idea of kernel trick is to embed the data in a higher dimensional space using nonlinear transformations. For instance, in our first example, we might want to add a y axis with new features y defined as y equals to x squared. Amazingly, we obtain data points in a two-dimensional space that are now linearly separable. And our classical machine learning algorithms will then perform perfectly well for these higher dimensional data points. And we could have gone even further by adding still other dimensions like defining z equals to x cubed or w equals to the log of x and so on and so on. Similarly, for the XOR example, a clever embedding in a higher dimensional space using, for instance, a saddle points with main axes along the diagonals will render data points linearly separable. In practice, if you applied your basic machine learning algorithm to some data and it failed because it underfit the data, it can be a good idea to create new features from known features using nonlinear transformations and to then apply your off-the-shelf machine learning algorithms to these higher dimensional new features. Be careful though not to add too many new features. You do not want to overfit your training set. Now this is all great, but if you just double, triple or multiply by 10 the dimension of your feature space, then the computation time of your machine learning algorithms may explode a hundred or a thousand fold. And that's where the kernel trick really kicks in. Instead of embedding your feature space into a higher dimensional space, the kernel trick will embed it in a, wait, wait, possibly infinite dimensional Hibbert space. But crucially, it turns out that how this embedding goes and what the scalar product in this Hilbert space is do not really matter. All that really matters for machine learning algorithms are the scalar products between the embedded points, which are some quantities k of x1, x2 for two points x1 and x2 of the original feature space. Now, we will discuss the details in a future video, but to conclude this one, note that this means that all we need to implement the kernel trick or such pairwise comparisons of features of the training set. That is, all we need to know is the positive semi-definite so-called gram matrix G with entries GIJ equals to K of XI and XJ. An example of kernel K you can use in practice is the so-called Gaussian kernel, whose details I'll skip, but which eventually gives you the formula to compute k of xi xj as the exponential of a minus the norm of xi minus xj squared divided by 2 sigma. Crucially, using this Gaussian kernel, you can both separate your data and use an efficient LSVM algorithm or whatever. 